What up, Bart again? I uh, got a text message from Ryan, who's decided to come out of retirement and bless us with an attack and war. Told him to smile. He smiled. Um, I just uh, recorded this video a minute ago, but I forgot to turn the media down, so all you hear is Clash of Clan music. And everybody wants to hear me, not uh, Clash music. So let's review this guy's attack. Um, it's pretty sick. I mean, it's it's tough to three star at Town Hall ten. It's even tougher to three star at Town Hall eleven. But I'm going to show you the base, and you can make up your own mind on that one. So we're going to scout this pig out. Yep. This, my friends, is why you don't rush. Um, he has a Town Hall eleven. He's got the Eagle. He's got some maxed eye towers, but he's pretty much Town Hall 8 in uh, wolf's clothing right now. Wolf's. Sorry, not wolves. Inside joke for anybody who's been at war with us. Uh, we faced a clan called the Persian Wolves. So looking at the defenses, I should hope to God you could three-star that. Um, if not, uh, especially with the arsenal that he has. Ryan is not a rusher. He's kind of the opposite uh, of that. He will uh, duck out of war for about nine months at a time to upgrade the uh, stuff that just came out on the update, which, you know, pays dividends in the end. Not me. I prefer to war. So he sets in on this beast. Uh, it's quite an odyssey for him. And it's pretty tough. Standard go wee wee, but look at his heroes, man. 40 and 40 versus this wicked tough uh, level 15 king and level 17 uh, archer queen. This kid was so excited after the update that he said, I'm just going to go from town hall 8 right to 11. So good job, Supercell. You made some money off of this kid. Um, not too sure he's proud right now he's probably getting a sound uh, raising from his clan mates which uh, we would be giving each other if our base got three start at town hall 11 i mean unless it was just a beast attack i mean what are you going to do about it getting in the middle doing the thing there that one big bomb just took out a, a whole skelly um gonna fast forward a little bit this this attack progresses nicely uh, looked like both high towers were on single. Not a smart move on his part either. Just a total noob. So, Chopper from Wet Cat Riders. You suck. Just letting you know that. Um, if anybody knows him, feel free to tell him to watch the video and, you know, comment accordingly. Uh, but based on the upcoming birth, uh, of from this base getting pregnant by Ryan I'm not sure he's going to be able to want to talk so much so we're going to fast forward it because at this point you know it's just sweeping and mopping AQ still at 100% looking good fast forward pretty scary moment coming up uh, Queen gets down to about half maybe a quarter and then he just rages her out and uh, apparently it's going to be okay and boom, boomstick, done, adios. So right now one should be going, hmm, yeah, I didn't uh, pack any extra adult diapers. Because this dude is coming, but look at this, oh man. Let's see what this guy's got going on. Gold grab, check this out. <laughs> Not even not even halfway on his gold grab. Not even halfway on his elixir. But this guy, this guy right here, is a supercell wet dream. We're gonna go look at his base. He hasn't earned any of this FYI, but you know, a couple max uh, wizard towers. Uh, we're just gonna skip some of our archer towers. We'll just max one out, this one right here, cause that one's gonna do all the damage. But we got the uh, Mr. T Eagle going on, so you know he he spent quite a bit to get that beast. So congratulations on your gemming. 
uh, yeah, I know. It's it's up to everybody to play the game how they want to play the game, but don't don't stroll into global or a decent clan and front like you're some kind of monster when you haven't even earned it yet. You know what I mean? Like, so what? You've spent four thousand U.S. dollars to get your base where it's at. I'll still throat punch you, you know? Like, meet me in person. We'll see what that did for you. Now, I ain't saying I ain't bought gems, because I have. But, dude, this is redonkulous. Could have probably spent it on your heroes, which he has a little bit. <laughs> dude, I gotta tell you, buddy. Yeah, I like I like spreading general discontent about uh crud players. You know you got a guy like Ryan who's the real deal. And uh and then you get a guy like this who just basically buys it. So congratulations on that. I'm sure when your credit card bills come due, you know, you might regret it. But hey, you're tough, man. In the Wet Cat Riders, you're the top dog, so grats on that, especially with your wicked awesome, uh, what do you have, 300 War Stars? Ooh, 341. Oh my god. 528. At least his gold grab's filled. What a chump. Well, I'm gonna get off my horse on that, because it ain't like I haven't used gems, I'm just saying, you know... Obviously, I do. I got 3,400 of them. But, I mean, I get that for, like, when I want to boost my uh, barracks or boost my dark elixir because it's so hard to come by anymore. But everything else, I mean, it's earned. I mean, jeez. 798 war stars, you can't buy those, you know. Then you get a guy like Rhino. I don't even know what his gold grab's at. 700 and some. Yeah, I know. 347 war stars. But like I said, he is eternally farming. When I duck out of war, he's nice enough to come in. But man. Dude, I gotta look at that one again. That was hilarious. done publicly shaming that jerk um i'll keep it posted on this war uh, i haven't been recording very often i've been working on a few things around my house let's take a look at our war log i knew i caught you guys up on doha all-star we won that one uh, we faced another clan called united clanners uh man what a great name for a clan duh Anyway, uh, looking pretty good on the Warlog. Oh, hit, miss, hit, miss, hit, miss. Alright, this is Bart. Deuces.